All right, what's good YouTube? So today I have a big old mystery box. I went ahead and printed out the information about this Pokemon mystery box. So uh, it's a little more eye appealing than just, you know, this cardboard box. Went ahead and covered up my personal information. I have not opened this thing up yet, but if you can't read, basically there is a graded card in here. Could be CGC, could be PSA, could be uh BCG, hopefully it's not BCG, hopefully it's not CGC, I'm hoping for a PSA card personally, and a uh, booster pack pretty much. You get a couple other random stuff, but the main two things are going to be that graded card and that sealed Pokemon booster pack. So, And uh, once again, if you can't read, I paid 50 bucks for this thing, so we're going to see how it is, we're going to see... Um, <laughs> If I wasted my money or not, but uh, yeah, anyway, so there's only one booster pack inside. You guys know I love ripping packs, so I grabbed some more boosters to open up after we get through the box. So I got some bangers in here. We got Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, Evolution. So yeah, that'll be fun, but uh, we're going to get into this mystery box first. So um, once again, that is the seller. Um, they had 100% positive feedback, 199 feedback. So hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. Like I said, I am hoping for a PSA card, but I'm really hoping there's no personal information like a receipt in here. So, uh, yeah, otherwise I'll have to go back and blur some stuff out. But thank you for clicking on my video. This is a pretty big box for, like, I mean, you do get, like, it says you get some, like, sleeves and, like, dice and a bunch of other little random crap. I don't really think that has much value on it thinking 99% of the value is coming from the booster pack and the graded card, but looks like we got a piece of a mattress right here. So, uh, yeah, that's some memory foam right there. All right, cool. All right. So looks like we got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm um, not sure. Oh, this is our graded card. Okay. We're going to definitely, we're going to definitely save that. That's like the big hitter. So we got some, uh, shining fates, ETB sleeves, Okay, we got the little mini binder from the lunchbox tin. Our booster pack was battle style, so we'll definitely rip that open very soon. They threw in a jumbo. Once again, I paid 50 bucks, so keep that in mind. Um, we got some ETB dice from Shining Fates, it looks like. Poison counters, some stickers. And uh, I already had one of these. I already like have a little binder going, but I guess I'll just keep this thing sealed. So pretty cool. That's worth like 10 bucks alone. And that booster pack is worth about five. So we're at 15 in value. I'm not really counting that other stuff. It probably has a little bit of value, but um, yeah, so I would say about $15 of value so far before we even find out what the graded card is. And I'm not even going to probably know the value, so um, we'll just see what it is. Alright, we got a Jellicent and a Mind Shao. So we didn't pull a hit out of our one booster pack, but you really can't expect two out of only one. Alright guys, let's find out what the graded card is. Okay, it looks like it's BCG. Judging from that back of the label, but let's where'd my scissors go? I threw them Don't throw scissors kids if you're watching this. Uh, what did I do with them? Here they are Yeah, too much tape going on All right, there we go. Let's find out what we got Looks like oh Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's a Beckett I mean, it is a Lurantis, which uh, isn't a very desirable Pokemon, but that's kind of cool. It's a 9.5 Gem Mint Lurantis GX from Sun and Moon Base. I'm now the owner of this. Okay. Hey, it's it's something. I don't think it's worth, what, 35 was the difference? This is, I would probably value this at like 20, 25, honestly. But it's cool. It's cool. You know, nowadays, to get a card graded, it's super, super expensive. So, um, anyways, we got some booster packs. So, that's cool. I, th I, I got scared when I saw the back. I thought it was like a BCG. You guys ever see, like, those Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery boxes from Walmart that have a graded card? 
I wish I knew how to edit. I would show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. But there's like a grading company that looks different. It's like BCCG. And their graded cards look horrible. I thought that's what it was about to be. So I'm pretty happy that it's a BGS slab and not something else. But uh, yeah, so pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with that slab. I'll probably just hold on to it for a, for a long time. See what it's worth in uh, 15 years or something, you know. All right, we got a trap inch. We got a decidui and a boss's orders. We have no luck with the Shining Fates booster pack, but that is okay. We still got some potential heat coming up. We got burning shadows. Let's pull a banger out of this pack. Let's see. Still looking for that Rainbow Rare Charizard. One of these days I'm going to pull that thing. Alright, here we go. We got a Potown and uh, Toxicroak. Sweet. Here you go. Next pack. Alright, I'm going to go... We'll save Hidden Fates for last. We'll do Evolutions. Let's pull a banger from Evolutions. Here we go. Energy. Staryu, Tangela, Rattata, Weedle. Okay, that's a pretty good card. Reverse Hollow, Fairy Energy, and Eradicate. All right, no secret rares in that pack. That is just fine. We have a Hidden Fates pack. Let's do this. It is time to pull a crazy card. Let's do this. Hidden Fates can do it. That's for sure. Looking for a shiny GX. Let's see it. Magikarp. Geodude. Clefairy. Eevee. This might be it right here. Oof. Ekans. Can we pull a hit? Oh. All right. We're not going out like that. You guys already know on this channel. When, I do, when we don't get that many pulls, I got to grab a couple more packs. Let's see. Um, I got... A, I do have, all right, let's grab, I don't have any hidden fates, unfortunately, but I do have these three, so let's do this. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't pull anything out of these, to be honest. I was hoping to see a hidden fates pack, but I guess I'm out, but let's see what we can get out of Burning Shadows, Mudbray, and a Butterfree, all right. Let's make this quick. Don't want to drag you guys along too long, but hey, at least if we don't pull anything, we'll just do these three packs and then I'll, I'll probably pull the plug on the video. But at the end of the day, we got a pretty cool graded card. I wish it was probably something else than our Lorantis, but still pretty cool. 9.5 is a pretty good grade in my opinion. Hatena, we got a Lyopard. Okay, we got a Dreadnought. We pulled a hit. We did it. We pulled a hit, let's go. Code, and then we'll finish off. This is the second pack of evolutions, yeesh. All right, well, let's just finish the video off. On a Charizard, here we go, Ponyta. There's a Pikachu, that's a pretty good card. Poliwag, Caterpie, here we go. Poliwhirl is the reverse. Last card of the video is a Farfetch'd. Yikes. And no secret rare. But I just wanted to pull a hit in the video. We pulled one. Dreadnought V. Nothing crazy, but I'll take it. Also got the, once again, <laughs> I, I still think it's pretty cool. Let me know what y'all think of it. Let me know what y'all think of the little $50 mystery box. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.